Hello and welcome to this quick explanation how to join tubes knitted with your circular knitting machine to each other in all possible ways. You can join side to side. You can join end to end. You do that when you want to make a infinity tube, for example. And the last possibility is end to side. So I'm going to show you all three ways to join them. The first variation is end to end. I will demonstrate it to you and explain it with a little drawing. I take two ends of my tubes and I lay them in position. We are going to use v-stitches to join the tubes to each other. When you look at your work, you will find just under the edge v-stitches. They are all in one line and just next to each other. So you have to find your v-stitches one by one. They are all in line, so it's easy to find the top one. On the other end, you are going to find also the v-stitches from the right to the left. They are also in line, so it is easy to find them. We are going to join them one by one. So make sure that you understand how to find them. And then we are going to join them to each other like this. We are going to join one V-stitch to one V-stitch. And we repeat that to the end. I'm using a contrasting color so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to find myself the V-stitches. I'm starting with the one that's just at the edge or the corner and I'm picking it up and I'm pulling my yarn through. Then I'm going to the other end and I find my first V-stitch. This one. And I'm going to pull my yarn through also, but not all the way. Make sure you keep a space between the two pieces. And then I'm going to pick up the next V-stitch at the first end. I'm pulling my yarn through, but not all the way. And then the second V-stitch on the other end. And this is basically what we keep repeating. Picking up V-stitches on one side and on the other side. Make sure you don't pull your yarn tight. And you are creating something like bars between the two pieces with your working yarn. And that's okay. Continue picking up those stitches. One by one. And when you're finished or your yarn is a little bit short, you just have to pull at your yarn. And then I have to continue the last few V-stitches. And the ends are joined. And now I'm going to pull at my yarn. And you will see that the ends will be joined very nice you can pull through your yarn all the way i'm pulling it a little bit back because i don't need that much of yarn make sure the tension is right and this is how you join the ends to each other on the inside you have a nice ridge and on the outside it looks as if it is knitted to each other. So when joining ends, just join the V-stitches one by one. The next joining is the joining side to side. We are going to join the sides of our tubes to each other. 
So I'm picking up my tubes, for example, like this. So we are going to join them in the length. I'm turning my example so it's more uh, clear to see what I'm going to do. And we are going to join the sides of our tubes. And that's very simple. I'm taking my contrasting yarn. We're going to join them like this. So when you put them like this, you will see lines with V-stitches along the edge. Again, those V-stitches. And when you line them up pretty, it looks like they're just knitted in one line. You see those V stitches they're just one row see it as a rail track and you are going to follow that track when you stick your needle in the v-stitches you will find those vertical bars just like in a train track and we are going to use those bars we start joining with picking up one bar and joining it with a bar on the other side and then we pick up pairs we are going to pick up two bars at a time just like the v-stitches but this looks a little bit different and you end sometimes with one pair but i will demonstrate i'm going to stick my needle in the first v and i'm going to find the bar that's basically the back of the v-stitch it's just one yes little piece of yarn then I'm going to stick my needle in the first V-stitch on the other tube. And now I keep space in between, just as with the ends. And I'm going to stick my needle in where it came out. Those are big holes. And I'm going to pick up two bars at a time. Go in where you came out, pick up the next two bars. Make sure you get the vertical bars, the right ones, not the V-stitches. Go in where you came out, pick up the next pair and pair them up. Don't pull at your yarn that it goes tight because then you cannot see clear what you are doing. Continue picking up two bars at a time. Don't skip bars. Don't go under twice, just continue following the rail track, picking up the next pair of bars. Do that as far as possible, as long as your tubes are. This might look a little bit messy, but when you pull at your yarn, your tubes will be joined seamless. Your work will look like as if it is knitted in one piece on both sides. So when you join tubes side to side, it's usable on two sides. It's very simple. Just pair up the vertical bars under the V-stitches. So this is the second option, joining sides to sides. Then we have the last option, and that's joining the end to the side i'm going to cut my yarn i'm going to join the end to the side I'm using also the contrasting color we want to make it look like this so for that i make a little drawing and explanation and then i will show you how you have to join the end to the side of a tube. That is also very simple. You already know how to find V-stitches and how to find those bars. And we are going to combine them. So we are going to use the bars at the side and we are going to use the V-stitches at the end. We are picking up one V-stitch at a time and we are going one by one all the way. On the side we are going to pick up bars. First V-stitch one bar, second V-stitch two bars. First V-stitch one bar, second V-stitch two bars. 
So we are going to alternate the bars. I'm going to demonstrate picking up the first V-stitch. And I'm going to pick up one bar because with every first stitch I pick up one bar. Keep space between the tubes. I'm picking up V-stitch number two. And when I'm picking up V-stitch number two, I'm picking up two bars. We are working in a series of two V-stitches. So I'm starting over. The third one is named number one. Picking up one bar. And the next one is number two. And at V-stitch number two, I have to pick up two bars. One V-stitch, one bar. Second V-stitch, two bars. And continue all the way. You pick up one V-stitch a time and you alternate one bar and two bars. This is V-stitch number two. I have to pick up two bars. One. One. Two. Two. One. One. Two. Two. And go as far as possible. And then you just simple pull at your yarn. You can pull at whatever yarn tail you like. And your work will close nice, without wrinkles, as if it's knitted together. A little rich on the inside and on the outside, complete seamless. And this is how you join tubes with the end to the side. You join V-stitches to bars, alternating one and two. We also know how to join the ends of the tubes to each other with the V-stitches. And now we know how to join the sides to each other by joining pairs of vertical bars which gives a very nice seamless uh, texture. Now you are ready for all kinds of projects with your circular knitting machine. I have more than 70 free workshops for all kinds of different projects. And all those free workshops are for different sizes machines. So check the description of this video for the link to all the workshops in just one list and add it to your library because i'm adding constantly new projects so stay updated and join my channel please give me a thumb up and feel free to tip me check the description of this video for all needed information and more Stay safe, with love, from Holland. Bye bye.